Welcome everybody. Um, looks like there's five of us and a mystery guest. I think Doug. it's Doug. It's Doug. Oh, hey, Doug. Hey, Alan. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's do the minutes from last meeting, um, February 8th, 2023. Everybody had a chance to look at them? Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. good job, Donna, very good job. Thanks. With a little bit of help from clarification from Judy. Um, all in favor of accepting the minutes as written, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Unanimous. All right. What? What? What happened? <laughs> what happened? Hey, for a second. Yeah. All right, we're all back. <laughs> so, Mr. I don't know what you're looking for. Jonathan's not with us tonight. Unfortunately, he sent me a text and I will read it to you. This is from the other day. The rec department is going to pull our application for what should be an easy project. No progress has been made from others on maps or testing. We will apply in the off cycle. And then I asked them, could someone from the rec department send us a request to withdraw the application, please? And I have not received anything yet. I will still get that in writing that they want to withdraw the application. Um, any questions on that? Anybody surprised? No. <laughs> I thought we would have to do it for them. <laughs> I, I'm not surprised. I'm a little sad because at the same time, they have submitted a funding request to the town for, I think it's a batting cage, mm -hmm. so, something yeah. <laughs> with yeah. softball, which they were told last year is eligible. For CPA funding, and which I will say, when it comes to the finance committee, is you know would have been eligible for CPA funding. Sure, mm -hmm. um, it's too bad. Yeah. As far as the off cycleness, we'll see what they have to say, but I can see them wanting to dig up the field in the fall time rather than the springtime to lay irrigation lines. It's going to come to that. Yeah, but if they file well, the special town meeting, is not likely to be till November. Good point. Very good point. I hate off cycle, anyways. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Makes more sense for the baseball cage. Well, we'll see what their reasoning is. They have to give us a reason for being off cycle. So we'll see what they have to say. Not being able to get their act together in time for the initial application isn't really a reason, huh? No, no, <laughs> I don't think so. I know, it's a little inappropriate. No. Or, or for the January, February, or March extensions. Yeah, right. right. We have, yeah. We have cheerfully offered. Yes. Three strikes and they're out. <laughs> Three strikes um, and you're out. You're right, Doug. All right, so they're withdrawing their application. I will get something in writing from them asking us to do so. Want to talk about we approved the tennis courts? Yes or no? I forget. I don't think so. We didn't vote on it. We, we just didn't vote on it. We said it's a complete application. Okay. We were um, questioning how they knew the amount, and then it turned out to be in the paper the next before the next meeting. Right. So. Right. So if everybody's okay with it, I'd like to take a vote on whether or not we should bring this to the public hearing. So move. All in favor of bringing the Frontier Regional Tennis Court Renovation Project for $11,000 to the public hearing, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Quan Quan. <clears throat> Uh, did everybody see from the Historical Commission that they affirmed that the Quant Quant Silo restoration is eligible in their eyes 
Uh, they would like to see a 20 year deed restriction stipulating the payback should the grant, should they not follow the interior of the site, the Secretary of Interior standards, um, except for natural catastrophe. And as far as they're concerned, they do not recommend the right of first refusal because they don't really think the town needs a silo. I got a second that one. So, with that little bit of information, can we make a motion to bring Quant Quant Farm Silo Repair and Restoration to the public hearing? Sure. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We shall do that. Oh, may I ask a question about the Quan Quan? No. Well, <laughs> of course you can. We voted. <laughs> <laughs> when um, we have at times uh, recommended a grant that is different from the amount that has been requested, and I, I don't actually have an opinion about that at this moment regarding the Quan Quan application, but I can't. I've forgotten at what stage we have that conversation. You're asking if we should, or there are they asking to increase the? No, no. I'm. I. I am at. We have, for example, with the Kestrel grant for mm -hmm. Waitley Center Woods, we recommended um, us uh, less um, funding than was requested. Um, and I, I really want to be clear, I, it is not that I'm recommending that about Quant Quant. I've simply forgotten when in our process. About now. About now. <laughs> we would yeah, have before we approve it we, for town meeting, we, right? Right. We need to have the right number going to the public hearing. So if there's any discussion on reducing the amount or increasing the amount, we need to do that before the public hearing. We can do it at the public hearing. If somebody in the audience asks, so, but we should have well, our we could, lined up. If we recommended it, but right. I don't think we could ask for more at the public hearing. We might be able to ask for no. less. But. They could ask for more and we could consider it. Yeah. And and I guess we have, with a couple of recent applications, we have taken the initiative to award a higher amount than has been requested because I think because it was our sense that not enough allowance for possible cost increases mm -hmm. had been made. So we've we've gone in both directions. Right. Yeah, if we have the funds, what's the yeah, what's adding a few couple, you know, couple extra bucks if we have the funds to offset it. Right. I think we did that with the, the Veterans Memorial Park. We did. Increase. We did. So we didn't, I mean, I know I missed a meeting and was only partially here for another one, but did we review um numbers at all yet and like looking at how much was in the because I'm thinking to myself like when I would think about making a change like that it might be if I was looking at the bigger picture unless there's something obvious that sticks out like we just talked about where we thought looking at an application we thought oh they didn't ask for enough or oh wait a minute this could be done differently uh I don't know like is it fair to think let's look at the balance in the historic preservation we keep getting all these asks, should we think about the overall balance versus this one request for a private entity before we make a final dollar amount? I mean, I, I think it was a good question, Donna, and that was the first thing that came to my mind was what does it look like within the greater balances of the project? Well, certainly we spent more money on historic projects than we have anything else. Open space. With, with the town hall in the mix, that will probably be true for another 30 or 40 years. I was going to say it's generation, minimal. Because right? yeah. mm -hmm. it was 850, wasn't it? It was a lot. It was a lot. It was 750 just for the for the building itself, and then it was probably another 100,000 in plans. and Right. 
previous work. So yeah, yeah. That's all. yeah. That included borrowing. I am not sure if I have the latest, I'm gonna to have to start dating these funds available. I have that. Well, it can't be the latest. We allocated $18,000 for fiscal 23 and then we did the church window restoration. So I don't think there's anything in the bucket. Right, we, we funded the church grant partly out of historic preservation that bucket and partly out of whatever we call general funds. Yeah, <laughs> but there was only that. about there was only about eighteen thousand. I think we there used might up be the two hundred. There would be about three hundred dollars in the bucket. I think. Right. Right. So regardless, this is a hundred percent. Like any yeah. project in this session will really be coming from undesignated reserve or next year's allocation. I personally would be comfortable with funding a smaller amount here. Um, and it's a little awkward because I was the advocate for the church, but it does seem to me that the church's history and its visibility and its importance to the town is, is um, greater. And I think people, the town as a whole would have a bigger understanding. I don't wanna say that the silo isn't an important contributor to history. And I do think we should fund something, but I think I'd be more comfortable with something like $25,000. Uh, um, and I suspect that would go over better at town meeting too. I think, I mean, we know that Quant Quant spent $80,000 of its own money last year before they realized they might be able to apply for this kind of funding. Mm -hmm. And I don't have the application in front of me but I don't either. That's why I, I can't. I, find. So shame on everybody. Yeah, they, yeah, eighty thousand last year, and they're doing for this coming year another fifty-four or seven out of their pocket, and then the forty-eight is, is what they were asking for the CPA. So I think another eighty, roughly. It can't be eighty. Was for the two. No, nine. So yeah, that's. I think they're only they're doing six out there. Isn't it out of the fifty-four? Yeah, no, and, yeah, fifty-four. Yeah, total project cost project, was fifty-four thousand. Right. Yes, yeah, so <clears throat> they're chipping in six thousand to roof it. Yep. Yeah, I read that wrong. So if we, if the total cost is fifty-four thousand, if we recommended half of that, it would be twenty-seven. They're asking for forty-eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. I, and again, I'm not making a recommendation. I'm just doing arithmetic because yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's nice to have some. Well, I like the th line of thought that's going on here. I think I do too. Oh, and more, more because it's a non-municipal entity. And I mean, I think the church, I don't know. I don't remember the poor Judy might be able to spit this out really quickly, but the whole amount of renovations being done over a small period of time at the church might be an awful lot more than we funded 38,000. Um, I think that we don't have the final bill for the for the church yet. Okay. It was the quote was 34,000 we put in 10% contingency. That doesn't include removal of the existing storms. Um, it doesn't include exterior painting. It doesn't include any damage they find that they have any extra work they have to do on yeah. repairing windows. And, and, um, the, and, and it the doesn't church is doing the storm windows. And it doesn't. Right. So so we don't is, know. You're probably doing 15 and, to 20, don't you think? I would estimate that we would probably spend at least 20,000 on storms. And my guess is it'll be more because the estimates we had were pre-inflation. And they didn't include putting them up, you know, and renting. Mm -hmm. right. They're they're doing all the work on the on the windows from the inside, but, but to do the storms, you've got to you've got to rent lifts and stuff. I so, I, I think so. um, e even just parking the church for a second, which is something of a unique 
private entity in the town. I think we will, we may begin to receive more proposals from private entities. I mean, there are lots of interesting structures and buildings and barns in this town. And I like, uh, sorry, I'm thinking, so I'm not spitting it right out. I, I think I like the notion that's of saying the town wants to put up no more than half. I, I'm not suggesting we make that a policy. It just feels right to me. Mm -hmm. you know? There, there may be some projects where we want to do a little bit more. Right, which is why so, I, which is why I'm not suggesting making it a policy. I'm just yeah. Um, just well, to and, keep in mind. you know, the the church doesn't have an easy opportunity to bring in additional sources of income just for renovations, right? It's it's church contributions from the offering have to go to regular maintenance, right? Like it doesn't have a huge amount of pull where. I'm not familiar with the financials of of Quan Quan, so I could be wrong, but I I understand they make a reasonable amount of money, and I know that it's also an expensive place to maintain. But at least they have more opportunity to be able to cover. Like I just think that maybe looking at that type of thing is fair, given our unlimited resources. It would be different if we had let a balance grow for ten years and had over a million dollars in our pot, we could just hand out. But I feel like we're consistently getting pulled, especially in this area. And, and it's maybe not a bad idea to consider that as well. This is just popcorn ideas, maybe for a future review of whether or not there needs to be some type of policy. I know Donna, you were saying like, not right now. I think it's something to think about for next year or something. Every time the historical commission has talked about this kind of thing, we wind up convincing ourselves that each of these pro private projects is likely to be so different that it's very hard to come up with some um, umbrella mm -hmm. projects. That's that was true with the stipulations for the, to be included in the grant agreement. You know, the ones that made sense for the church clearly didn't yeah. make sense for a silo. <laughs> and 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 um, I I am um, not eager. Uh, to take into consideration our impressions of the financial status of the applicant. And I know you weren't really suggesting that, Catherine, but well, that's right. Because we've never done that with the APR applications. Right. Mm. And, and I think that's we true. have to be no, consistent. That's a really good point. You know, that is, those are money to private entities. And we've never said, oh, the Smiths had this and the Hotkoska, I can't remember who else has had them, but you know, we. Uh, right. Um, <clears throat> Hmm. Well, what would you think? Half of the total cost of the project or half of what they're asking us for? They said half, you said half the total is about 27, so. Well, you're the, you're the one who's reading. Yeah, well, I just <laughs> had the project. Sorry, half yeah. Half of 54 is 20. I, I, I would go for half of 27. I have a 54, I mean. So. Mm -hmm. Half of the total versus half of the request. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. that might make some sense to uh, uh, that would give private uh, other entities an opportunity to leverage the work that they're doing themselves. And right? it shows it shows support of the project too, which I think is important. Right. Sure. And I agree. And I'm they, not trying to get to get their act together. Yeah, that's right. They, yeah, a very good application, I thought. Well, yeah. Well, in in a a sluggish field <laughs> this year. <laughs> well, that's certainly true. You know, in in the um, looking back three years, and it may look forward the same, right? I don't. That's. But that's I why I, I was sort of thinking about it in a much broader sense. I'll move we fund it at 27,000. 27,350 would be half. Okay. I'll second. All in favor of 
recommending that we fund the quant quant renovation at $27,350. Please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Unanimous, Donna. Okay. So we have amended it to $27,350. I'm glad we're doing this because we are going to get a lot of personal private requests. I know we are. Once we start yeah. doing this. Yeah, start to think in the future, yeah, more, more projects have to come yep. before us, yeah. Good call, Donna. All right. <clears throat> it, I'd feel better if we had two or three at the same time. Sure. Yeah. Library application. Info, you're looking for info. Another amendment. They have gone from $7,500 to $8,000. I uh, have new estimates that I don't know if you all have seen them. I don't remember seeing that. They've been passed around in emails, but um, the masonry by Rich Cooper, his total is $5,487. And for the railing is $1,850. And they're requesting a 10% contingency. So that brings it up to about 8,000 bucks. And again, they're renovating the front steps, um, replacing the hand railings, at least the middle one. So it looks like the two outside ones. Um, in the process, they have to move the handicap ramp and then put it back. So I think they're they're funding that themselves. Um, am I missing something, Donna? No. Uh, well, just to say that um, the the replacement of the center of the three handrails is not just to make it match. It's because it was installed incorrectly, and it is puncturing the steps and has actually contributed to the damage of the steps. Okay. Um. Any questions? Again, they're requesting eight thousand dollars instead of the seventy-five hundred that we were thinking about. Um, I'll take a motion for recommending to the public hearing that we fund S. White Dickinson Library front step I'll renovation. Move. For $8,000. Yep, I'll move. All in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Unanimous. Uh, What's on your mind, folks? Any more updates to the plan? I haven't heard of anybody. I, I talked to Wayne Hakoski and he just kind of laughed when I asked him about it. I think he just. I thought voted. we voted it last time. I think he voted it. I think we did. I just see it was on the agenda. I um, I have been wondering about the whether it would be appropriate and helpful for us to alert either Brian Domina or the select board that the rec commission, the rec program may need some help planning. Well, don't they have a new full-time, or not full-time, but a new director? Part-time paid person to do stuff. Right. He's six hours a week and-, and Oh, the, is that it? He's supposed to be, it's not supposed to be a director. It's kind of office support type salary. 
And he's, most of what he's supposed to be doing is scheduling the use of the fields. Hmm. It sounds like he could, if, if he can coordinate the fields, he could coordinate an application. Well, he, it was he who, fill it out. who did the pencil scrawled one we got. Uh, I, I mean, you can't, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Only because my kids just went through the schools and had relatively small interactions I, I with the fields and the rec department, but still some. I, I don't know if the rec committee is any different than it has been since you know my 10th grader was in kindergarten and starting soccer like the oh you know what i mean like I, I but maybe they will need some staff support when times come that they need this right like i don't know if it well, hannah did the hurley application because it was uh, a grant she got so maybe the community development person Hello. And Jonathan Edwards did a, a good job with some backing and forth thing. Sorry, I've never been to Hurley he Fields. <laughs> I can't remember what that grant was for. <laughs> the dugouts? Was it for the dugouts? Yeah. They, yeah. And they redid some fields. New, they they re yeah, newer, yeah, newer field yeah. in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we and we even gave that gave them some of our administrative money that time. For right. some engineering work that John. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I maybe I shouldn't be worrying, but I, I also think they would benefit if they had a representative on the committee who who was more present. You know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Um, it, it, maybe it's just a, a thing to note to Brian around the community development position to have it maybe be noted. Like one more thing to add to the job a description. Poor person is going to wind up supporting so many committees. I know. Well, that's the. I, that's why I'm stalling as I'm saying it. Like mm -hmm. sort of shaking my head. Like goodness. Um, but isn't it part of the CPA rules? There should be one member from each board. Isn't it like, you know, said. Yeah. Well, John, Jonathan is the member. Oh. Okay. But. I don't think he. We, there's a rule for a recreation committee member to be on the CPA. Yeah, there is. There is. I thought it was open space, and recreation falls. No, that's conservation. Space. Yeah, conservation is open space. I think there's a separate entity for. Yeah, well, it's either the way the bylaw is written. It's either part. So when they opened up CPA funds to recreation, they also said that a recreation member has to be on the CPA board or CPA committee. I think. I think it was. I don't remember that. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Uh, our our rules say that we have a representative from the recreation. That's something in the town rules. Yeah. But, I, agree but I, that. Was, I was I not on the CPC. The state CPC rules reference parks, park representative. Parks and, recreation. And, and in a town where there isn't a park person, it's recreation. OK. OK. I'm not saying we don't need a recreation member on this committee. There's a lot of money is going to be going that way, I think. And clearly the town could use some support getting that. The recreation committee needs some this support is, somehow. This right? is the problem, a small town that's trying to act like a big town. We'd, I mean, I'd like us to behave like Amherst to have our planning staff be able no, to- address. No, no behaving like Sorry. Amherst. No. You're right, that was, that was a bad way to say it, Donna. Very I would like bad. <laughs> so South Deerfield has a, has a full-time paid recreation director. Do they? They and do. They have for years. And what's their population? I don't know. I don't know, and I'm not suggesting we need a full-time yeah, yeah. Position, but we need somebody more in six hours who can maybe yeah. come to the meetings, our meeting, be on this board, and fill out the applications. I wonder how she's funded. It's still Sue Anson. Well, never mind. Uh, well, I mean, towns make different decisions. Hatfield pays somebody 20 hours a week to take care of their historical collections. You know, so I'm not proposing that 
<laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, there's Pete towns make different decisions. <laughs> right. Erica's a pure volunteer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Well, we're going to be talking to Brian again soon, anyways. So we can put that bug in his ear and maybe like Catherine said, when the job description, when they were interviewing, that could be part of it. Or maybe they can increase Chris Williams hours by four <laughs> to 10 hours a week. And then you could have time to do some applications and staff meetings and do other, yeah put a little more time into filling out an application here and there, right? Um, yeah. Know, maybe maybe we need to get, you know, I think when you have a, a committee member who isn't necessarily a good communicator back to the committee, it's um, it creates problems and I don't know how to bridge that. I, I my impression is that Jonathan has this is something he cares about a great deal but of course his children are not in the public schools you know they're in college and at Williston Northampton I I was going through minutes for another reason looking for something and noticed that he attended two out of our nine meetings last year wow. you know so um I mean coming to these meetings helps each of us to learn more about different areas. <laughs> no, that's... But yeah, and, and notices about deadlines and things. We you know there's there's those broadsheets that Amy or somebody in town office sends out, but the rest of it we kind of count on our committees to to bring the information back, our committee rep. Yeah. So you're to, you have to talk to Brian about something else, Alan. So you're yeah, we are going to be seeing them. Yeah, okay. I, I I'm not sure what kind of flux that the rec commission in is in. Um, Wayne Hukoski is the chairman, but last I knew, it was just a temporary thing. He was not going to be the permanent chairman. I'm not sure who they're thinking about to become the chairman or or if there's any movement there at all. I think that's where we got to start to see what kind of committee they have. Mm -hmm. It feels like they've had a hard time. Like this is the point sort of, it, it was hard to arrange, you know, because when Mrs. H was around, Mrs. H did a lot of the little, like go pick up the uniforms and drop them off here and take this at the beginning of the year and get the basketballs to the mm -hmm. coach. And like, there's an unbelievable amount of, things to do and if they yeah. haven't filled the of little tiny little things like that and and you know if there aren't enough parent volunteers at i from think the there's enough people i don't think the yeah. structure is there yeah okay. i don't think there's anybody delegating the right to, yep that's my opinion but we can find out more about it okay thanks we'll anybody get the counts again? straightened out one way or another yeah I mean, they got to straighten out their committee first. We can sit here and jump up and down all we want, but if they don't want to do it, they're not going to do it. Well, it's just, I mean, we, we want to give money away to great right. projects, right. you know, and they have two possible good projects. This yeah. Year. Right. Yeah. I just know a bunch of years ago, I said, well, what did they say in the minutes about that? Like I asked a question of a rec committee member like what, how has this been going about something? And I, I wish I could remember because it would it would be a nice concrete example. And I was laughed at and said, oh, we don't actually take minutes. We don't really do that in our committee. I was like, oh, oh. And I kind of, you know, I wasn't gonna push the issue too much, but I was like, oh, great. So I don't know if that's always true. And if, you know, there must be some public meetings and maybe there are more meetings that aren't public meetings that aren't to, you know, be, again, to try to get through soccer season and figuring out who's going to do what, but I don't know. 
it's been like this for a while. So it might be something us, a more le professional level staff could help provide the support for at least initially to try to set them up with structure. They might not be able to do it on maybe. Okay. I did misspeak. Uh, discussion of the plan was not on the agenda for this month. I was reading last month's agenda. Judy's like, I don't think I put it on there. You didn't. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> no, I think she was saying, it's don't, not, make, not the don't make me edit point. it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that it would be on, It is up on the website and the project <laughs> list is updated and the about the CPA is updated. So we're, and I'll get the, I can figure out how to coordinate the library form and application into one form. We'll get that up, get those up too. I just want to get back to the quant quant thing. We are going to be asking for a 20 year uh, grant agreement, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. With a, with a um, deed restriction. That, that'll be the in the grand agreement. Gotcha. All right, public hearing. I think it's the 12th. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. That's right. At five o'clock via Zoom. Sound good? Make you guys? it make it five fifteen because or five ten or right? yeah. just in case there's some logistics and things first, or you want to do the minutes for, well. Okay, okay, start at five. That's okay. No, Just no, that's that. fine. 5.15. Do we want to... That know. way you can do minutes first or so it can be, it can be part of the All meeting. Right. Okay. 15 minutes is quite a long time in between approving minutes and... Let's well... Do five, let's do 5.10 for the public hearing. Okay. For the mass of people who are coming. Right. 5 o'clock for a regular meeting, 5.10 for a public hearing. Um, do we yeah, want I think I think by the way that the legislature is going to pass the bill that will enable us to continue to be all zoom um, tomorrow huh. if they don't we might have to do it in person because you know, without the exemption the you know, I knew it expired to keep, yeah it expires at the end of March but I the planners listserv is anxiously awaiting it. It got through the house and renewed, extended through June of 2025. I'm fine with all in person, but if we have to run in-person meetings with a Zoom option without any staff support. I, the headache, yeah. trust me, <laughs> it's very difficult. And I think, I really think difficult. you're now required to, I think when, I think, you, the op the fallback is, would be hybrid. I mean, I think you yeah, have to have it's, the it's terrible. It's really terrible. With I'm not. This isn't about this group, but it is a terrible, terrible to ask volunteers to do that. I mean, somebody has to. You know, then really run really the computer while they're running a meeting, or yeah, yeah. You, you actually need the kind of equipment they have at town offices, and yeah. then somebody has to man the computer so the if it's, questions sure it's, it's very challenging and then you if you don't turn the chat thing off you have people sending stuff in and you know is that part of the meeting or is that just you know like passing notes <laughs> what is it yeah. <laughs> you know? if you have technical errors you can't hear the person it's yeah it becomes very difficult so um okay but do we need to alert um what are we we're going to talk we're bringing three, I can't read my own handwriting. We're bringing three possible grants to the public hearing, right? Tennis courts, Quant Tennis courts, Quant library. Do we need to alert those folks? That no, we, should probably, we should at least tell Quant Quant what we're doing. Well, they, should, they should be available for questions. Okay. At the public uh, meeting, I, yeah. I, I will do that since it's an historic preservation application, okay. Okay. 
Well, I Did guess you? I should tell, but I, with that reasoning, I should tell the library too, I suppose. Yeah, you want to do the library too? Yeah. Right. I mean, I don't mind telling the library. Do I'm we, not sure we'll get anyone for the tennis courts to be available. Yeah, I'm going to say, library. do you want Brian to show up for that or? Did the article was, I forget how comprehensive that news article was. I've, I've I it was got good. it on my computer. I can see it was pretty. Because was maybe possible. if there are questions, we say one of us can read the article or, yeah. I mean, they might yeah. not, we might not need. It's only $11,000, I think. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. And given the, the large number of people who usually attend our public hearings. Right, right. That I was thinking, gosh, it'd be, it seems like to get a, someone from Frontier to come to a meeting. Well, I think that. Frontier is paying for everything except for $100,000, and that $100,000 is split between the four towns based on the formula that they use. For, yeah. Right. So I come, we got 11% of that. Yeah. I don't the think we need to in the paper, I, I read it this afternoon it it says that Waitley's contribution is eleven thousand four hundred and eleven dollars i don't know if we should be voting that, that or... uh oh was that exactly what was on i don't have that the was what was in the paper but the okay application says eleven thousand sure it does we're going to stay with eleven thousand okay if brian i think if brian needs an extra 411, we could do that at the public hearing, maybe. Yep. I, having just said we couldn't raise it for, for $411, I think. If he's going to have to go through hoops to come up with it from some other source, it would. My guess maybe we is should change our recommendation to a, a, up to 11, make it 11,500. I'd be fine with that. I mean, given how much how many difficulties there are going to be with the budget town's budget this year with a number of things having great increases i can't imagine brian's even given a thought to the tennis courts in frontier lately oh. i i could email mr modesto i guess and ask him what the exact dollar amount is we could say i don't know how we, what we would say about tonight i'm sure i would get that number to throw in here just to, to say we're, you know, we're we're leaving it approximate the minutes could say we're we're recommending right. approximate amount between 11 and 11 uh, around 11,000 to be finalized yeah. by the time of the public hearing yeah okay but i think that's fine i'm comfortable i'm comfortable doing that's, that okay do do we need to revote that or so okay, move. okay. Second, third, fourth. All in favor say aye. 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 Are we eyeing to up to 11.5? Is that what yep. we just heard? Okay. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes, I believe so. I have nothing else. Would oh, you like, I do would have you something like a motion else. to adjourn? No, I do have something else. Oh, you do? <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, now it just escaped me. We were going to ask Lynn, oh, about, um, we're going to, Lynn got back to us. I don't know if everybody saw that. We asked her about, um, if we should send out a, a bleep or a, a email to everybody or whatever in the scoop about, um, getting a, I'm lost for words right now, but exemption. exemption there. Thank you. And she was of the opinion that now is not the time to do that. She was also of the opinion that exemption doesn't really add up to very much. Is that true? That know? was that was Cynthia. Hi. That was Cynthia's opinion. Okay. Right. The second one, the second part. All right. It didn't add up that much. I forget when Lynn said that she does exemptions, but it was earlier this year, was it? She said February in her email, and then yeah. she came back and qualified it, and it was April. So, but by that time, Cynthia had requested that we not advertise it. So, because she doesn't want to do the work. 
because she doesn't have time to do the work. Yeah. She did hope that somebody would advertise the bigger exemption that elderly or seniors are eligible for that would come that this would be added along into and the circuit breaker not the circuit breaker no. but there's a there's a that's another one that's a state tax thing but the, there's a local property tax thing if that you can qualify for it and i've forgotten the, that would be more money and you know, and there was another one in the paper today. There are all these things that were on the listserv. There, there's so many things that people are having trouble who are over 60 could apply for. And I don't, nobody in another committee that, I don't even know that there is a committee that. Right, well, there's a Council on Aging. Council on Aging, yeah, that's probably the one. Um. Yeah, it seems that that talking with the town staff about all of these possible reductions in taxes for older people is not really in the scope of this committee. Yeah. No, no, we just wanted to be known that there is an exemption. Right, I did put a tab for it up on the on the on our web page, but that's not where somebody who's short mm -hmm. of money is going to look. But at least it's a reminder that it's there. Right. So you you were prepared to put something in the scoop and on the advice of I've forgotten what Cynthia's last name is Cynthia oh. and um, Lynn Sibley you have not is that where we are? That's where yeah. we are. They requested that we did not that we do not advertise it right now. But maybe, maybe it was I'm, because of the transition. I, I, it I could think, be. I, I don't want to forget I think about this. Should definitely. advertise it. Really, I don't mean now, but yeah, in general. I think. Yeah, I absolutely think we should advertise it at some point, so we can ask again in June. Is now well, this would have been the time, I think, because the application. I mean, it it should have been now. Now yeah. it turned out Lynn hadn't thought so originally. She thought February, but it, April was the April yeah. is the deadline. Maybe next year for the Jan January scoop. Is it the it's January? December. It's, it's December. Oh, December and yeah, December. Yeah. And maybe we just don't ask. We just do it. It'd be great yeah. if someone could organize all those things in one. Yeah, no, I had. I one. thought I had Amy Schrader talked into sending out a she was look, thinking that they could use their software to send just to households with somebody in, in an over 60 a, a note about the circuit breaker and they could have added this in too but then of course no that was right before and anybody I, started retiring right and i think one of the problems was you can't send it with the tax bill right so we'd have to pay yeah. the full stage. not that it's a big deal right i think it would be worth it to the community to send it out yeah. as a but separate they were talking deal. about how you there would be a way that their their software would allow them i guess with the street list or you know they can sort by households by age yeah so, i think we should just put a notice right. in the december scoop and let people think ahead i mean you know, there are given the age distribution in this town, there are plenty of people who are nearly 60 who might be interested in in this. Um, and it doesn't cost any money to put anything in the scoop. We just, yeah. Okay. Keep it in the back of your minds. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, but that would do. I think we're done. Okay. And it's gotten dark. It's getting dark. Almost. Yeah. Is it really daylight savings time this weekend? Yeah, it is. Doesn't it seem yeah. early? It seems so early. But it's the same time every year. But we should get rid of it. Not ready for it. That's because we've got snow and because we finally got winter. That's right. I'm really screwed up about it right now. Yeah. <laughs>
All right. Well, thank you, everybody. We'll see you next next month on the 12th.